I'm now going to introduce uh, State Minister Millian, who's the Minister of Mines uh, in the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. His Excellency Millian Matthews holds a bachelor's degree in geology and a master's in development management. As well as his role as State Minister of Mines, uh, Millian is also the State Minister of Education, the State Minister of Transport and the President of Southern Epio Ethiopian Regional State. Must be a very busy man. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. My country, Ethiopia, has had a mining industry or mining practices for thousands of years. But nowadays, we are looking at the modern industrial scale developments in order to achieve our goal to become a prosperous country in the coming few years. Geologically speaking, we are located within the Arabian Nubian Shield, which has for a long time has been talked about in the international mining circles as having world-class potential, but yet to receive the attention of serious 21st century explorers and developers. One of the most promising mining prospects in Ethiopia lies in gold exploration. The country's greenstone belts are geologically similar to those in West Africa, which has been a remarkable success in gold production. Ethiopia's gold reserves remain largely untapped, and with modern mining techniques, the potential for finding new deposits is high. This presents an exciting opportunity for both local and international mining companies to contribute to the country's economic development. In addition to gold, Ethiopia possesses large reserves of lithium, tantalium, niobium, and other rare earth metals that are highly sought after as clean energy for the use of electronics industry. With increasing global demand for electronic devices, the demand for these rare earth metals continues to grow. Ethiopia has the potential to become a major supplier of this valuable resource, offering investors a chance to tap into a thriving market. Moreover, Ethiopia has vast untapped potential for oil and gas opportunities to address the growing global energy demand. The country has been actively exploring and developing its resources with the discovery of significant amount of oil and natural gas resolves in the central and southern regions. These discoveries have attracted international attention and investment, leading to increased exploration activities and potential for future, future production. The development of the oil and natural gas sector in Ethiopia presents, presents an opportunity for economic growth, job creation, and the diversification of the country's energy sources. Ladies and gentlemen, another area of immense potential is the extraction of potash, a vital component in the agricultural sector. Ethiopia's Danakil depression is estimated, estimated to hold one of the largest potash, potash deposits in the world. Given the importance of potash as a fertilizer, this presents an incredible opportunity for investment in the agricultural industry and ensures sustainable food production for Ethiopia and beyond. Furthermore, Ethiopia is home to vast reserves of industrial minerals such as gypsum, granite, limestone, and marble. These minerals play a crucial role in the construction industry, both domestically and globally. With its strategic location and abundance of resources, Ethiopia has potential to become a leading supplier of industrial minerals to support infrastructure development around the world. 
Last but not least, Ethiopia is located in the East African Rift System, a region characterized by volcanic activity and tectonic, tectonic movements. This geologically active environment has resulted in the presence of numerous geothermal reserves across the country. These reservoirs offer significant opportunity for Ethiopia to harness clean and renewable energy. This morning, uh, I took a short airborne tour for the Kiwanan Industrial District. My team was very impressed by what Western Australia has achieved for its people by discovery, development, production, and value adding to its mineral endowment. I am here to seek opportunity to learn from all participants in the conference and to invite serious participants in the industry to visit Ethiopia and to join our own mission. Our mission is to bring the Ethiopian mining industry into the 21st century to try and emulate your wonderful achievements in Western Australia. Our largest private Ethiopian organization or company, Medrock, is visiting here with us and has adopted the mission also. We have had some challenging years recently as a country, but we are very pleased to show you our commitment that we are now focused on with international mining companies for common good. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethiopia is endowed with enormous natural resources which has been untapped. Due to this fact, our government is implementing a homegrown economic reform and the mining sector is identified as the leading priority among five sectors. The government of Ethiopia said the mining sector as a means to generate a foreign currency, industrial import substitution, and job creation. The Ministry of Mines has been reorganized to be a better facilitator for those who want to invest and many other regulations are being revised to bring more, in, more into line with international convention. Our company that is here has actively contributed to these changes as Kefi Gold and Copper. And they are preparing their project launch or project similar to many gold mines in Western Australia. Other projects are also in the pipeline in gold and other metals including battery metals and copper. I greatly look forward to our collaboration in the area of mutual benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, once more I would like to assure my government unwavering commitment for mining investment and you are very welcome to Ethiopia. All the best to all of you and God, God bless. Thank you.